So let's start this off by saying, some people think you are the luckiest guy on the planet. Three beautiful wives, <laughs> lovely oh, homes, right. got your own business going on. Not a bad setup, huh? Pretty good setup. Pretty good setup for a guy who's been kicking around. And, uh, yeah, usually I have to take uh, second billing to the tornado or, or the giant gorilla to, to get a chance to kiss the girl. So uh, this was kind of like winning the trifecta for me. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a romantic part, but uh, to do a romantic part times three has been uh, – a dream come true and also a pretty big challenge. What is interesting, we were talking about this a minute ago while we were setting up this webcam, and I'd like to explore it a little more now, is this whole idea of how dangerous an idea big love is, which means that it's a glamorous, sexy, compelling look at polygamy. And I was making an analogy a second ago to you, to Dexter, which... I think it is appropriate here, and that is this guy is glamorous, sexy, and he's a serial killer and a sympathetic one. And Bill Hendricks in the role that you play is a decent guy trying to find his place in the world. And that's what makes this thing I really, really compelling. This isn't white trash. Well, yeah, I guess it, it definitely is subversive. Uh, it's, but it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we, we're on we're on the inside of it. I know it's a TV show, and, and here are these three starlets. But uh, you know, the guy's very square in many ways. The guy I play. I'd like to see as these seasons progress, him kind of loosen up a little bit. You know, he 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 holds the reins pretty tight with his family and his religion and his business and everything. Uh, some of the guys I talk to, they have a hard time relating to me. They just think, God, oh, why is why is your character? He just when does he? Why doesn't he run away from? All of it. So and what's the answer to that? Or something. Uh, Why doesn't he? I think he would like to. I think in his <laughs> in his mind, he'd like to be on a on a placid lake somewhere by himself, just fishing. In season three, it was interesting. You guys explored a lot of spiritual and religious issues. You took that to a to a deep level here that we didn't see in the first two seasons. Uh, I have some, a couple of questions from the forum posters at the envelope and, and tops on their list was they wanted to know, are you going to continue that in the future? Uh, and why was there such a sudden plunge into the spiritual and religious issues in season three that we didn't see before? Or do you even agree well, with the question? Oh yeah, no, I, Oh, absolutely. This, 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 you know, my faith was tested on about every level. This, this past season, my character, um, uh, you know, it's one of the few shows that, that that has the balls to even deal with any kind of religion or spiritual issue. You know, this is usually a, a taboo, not just like the polygamy, but the idea of getting into religious situations, uh, seeing characters praying, seeing religious ceremonies. This is something that most of the networks, most of the cable, just about everyone doesn't want to touch with a barge pole because it is controversial. But, I mean, this is a part of, of the human existence. And my character, if nothing else, he has a code, he has this religion, but he's like all of us. He's been raised in a traditional, with traditional beliefs, but he's, he's on a quest. He's on a spiritual journey. He's, he's, it's a mystery. He's trying to find out who he is, what his place is. And what's cool about that, you get into all these existential questions when you start, you know, dealing with religion and spirituality. So. I think it's another thing that kind of gives the show a little more uh, depth. Uh, one of our, I'm, I'm reading off these questions to you from our posters. What was your initial take on Bill Henriksen, and how has he changed over the course of the show? Hmm. What did you think of this guy when you well, first got I, the script for the show? When I first heard about this with the this script, I had a complete misconception of what it was. And I think it's been true for most of the audiences out there, uh, the viewers, before they watch the show. It, it, it is kind of like, a, you know, I pictured this guy who's some, some, you know, patriarchal, you know, guy who was a religious zealot. He's living out beyond the city limits, you know, uh, with, you know, barefoot women and chickens running around. And, and <laughs> it was so not what I imagined it would be. When I read the pilot script, I realized that these the creators of the show had come up with a very clever way to kind of uh, kind of view contemporary mores about, you know, sex, marriage, religion, through this very strange 
you know, telescope of polygamy. Uh, I think the character is starting, initially the characters seem to be almost like a car-carrying communist living in suburbia in the 50s, you know, really finding his own P's and Q's, and now, as the characters develop, as the stories have developed, he's starting to feel like, hey, I pay my taxes, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a you know, law-abiding <laughs> citizen, why can't I live like this? We're doing our thing, isn't this country about freedom? Whose freedom? Your freedom? Or, 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 or just freedom? Freedom of religion? Freedom of, you know, sexual orientation? All these things. It's funny how the show plays into a lot of the politics of now which to me seems so archaic when, when people are having to fight for their rights, same-sex couples, for example. It just seems like, are we in the 21st century? I mean, there's a part of me that uh, I am liberal-minded. I am a progressive thinker. And I think, um, I think you know, it, it does kind of push some of those buttons. But one thing about the show is it, it's, it's, it doesn't really... It might have these, you know, political things going on underneath it, but it seems to me uh, Mark and Will, the creators of the show, are, are very in tune with keeping the show entertaining and and, uh, and sexy and fun to watch and all the. And where's intrigues. it going in season four? I, I, Where I, are you taking all this for the next step? Well, I I had a meeting with um, the guys a couple of weeks ago, and we talked about that. We felt like after three seasons. All of us, it's kind of time to reassess the show, how far we've come with the show, with these characters, and now, okay, where are we going, say, for the next three years? Really trying to kind of look beyond just season four now. Um, I told them I'd like to see my guy swagger a little bit more in situations. Mm. I felt almost at the end of this last season, almost like Job. You know, they just throw in everything at the book at this guy and, and just constantly trying to... Um, stay above all the chaos and all the stuff that he's being, you know, challenged with all the problems. And uh, I'd like to see him kind of come above that. I'd like to see the gambling casino pay off a little bit. I, I love um, I love him. I love the idea of the guy as a patriarch who's, uh, you know, a, a businessman as well. I like the idea of empire building. you got to remember, this guy comes from the beehive state. It's all about industry. Uh that's a part of the character I relate to. My father was in a family uh, hardwood lumber business. It was called the Frank Paxson Lumber Company. So I, I like the idea of being Bill Hendrickson of Hendrickson Home Plus, but I like the idea <laughs> of, of branching out. I have, one of my favorite movies growing up was Giant, and part of that movie was, was, was as, it, as it became kind of this epic epic story because it started, it, it started growing. Everything was getting bigger. I love the idea of the family's getting bigger, the business is getting bigger. Who knows? Is the White House too far away for this oh, guy? God. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, what's so up it's, with it's you? It's been fun. You know, it's, it's, fun to, it's fun to see a show, and I feel like this is true of Big Love. You tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we went from kind of a soapish type of show to now it's, it's, it's become kind of a, an epic show. The characters and the landscape, and, and, and uh, I, I like the idea of it being, becoming kind of an epic show, like like Bonanza or something like that. Bonanza <laughs> for the 21st century. 